Well, howdy. I'm Tommy. And I'm Patty. And we are Alderman, Alderman Farms. Farms. Today, we're planting potatoes. Today, I'm cutting my potatoes to put in the ground to grow, and I'm so excited. I got these purple majesty potatoes. I've been wanting to get some for a long time, and so I'm cutting them today to uh, plant, hopefully today. And this one has sprouts <clears throat> all the way around it, and um, I want to leave two to four sprouts on each potato. And so I'm going to I'll just look at it to see where my sprouts are. And so I'm going to cut this in at a diagonal to leave plenty of potato on both sides. This one will have more than two sprouts. You see, now that's starting to grade inside, and then this one's going to have two sprouts. This is lime that I have. I want to plant the potatoes today. Otherwise, I could leave them out for about 24 hours and the, uh, they would kind of skin over. And they already have started because it's been a few minutes, but you can see there's still moisture there. But what you do is you just take and you just put a little lime on there like that and it helps to preserve the potato uh, because when the eyes start growing, it's actually going to feed on this part of the potato. So you wanna uh, cover them in lime or let them, uh, they kinda like call it scab over for like 24 to 48 hours. These are the potatoes that we cut today and we've put lime on them. Tommy has dug me trenches in my box. Uh, we're gonna do four trenches. I told him to dig them as deep as he could. And we're gonna come back and cover them. And you, you don't put the cut side up. You always put the eye side up down in the hole. Okay. All right, we scooped up a five gallon bucket of uh, goat manure. And I mean, it's got some hay mixed in it and some dirt and all that, but there's goat manure in it. And just so you know, I was spreading the manure and Patty insisted on taking it from me because I got my missing thumb piece and she didn't want to take a chance on my wound getting contaminated. So I don't make her do all of it. She does most of it, but. <laughs> <laughs> so once we spread, she finishes spreading this manure on top of the potatoes. Uh, then, Patty, am I right that we're gonna cover them back uh, with the dirt that we right. raked up and then we will come back with uh, hay that we raked up from inside the barn and put a, a layer of hay. We'll get the uh, irrigation tapes laid out just like we want them. So here's Patty raking the dirt back on top from where we, where I dug the trenches. I made him dig the trenches. Yeah, Patty had me dig my the back, trenches. His thumb hurts and my back hurts. Yeah, so. <laughs> we're a team today. We're a tag team in it today. So we'll get them covered up with the dirt. And uh, then in the next little clip, we'll show you uh, covering them up with the hay that we raked up out of the barn. You know what, Patty says she don't know what. Look, there's beans. Beans out here helping us in the garden. Bean, She's garden been, She's been taking a nap. But anyway, Patty moved the drip tapes out. She's like, I don't know what I was thinking. That ain't how I cover these tomatoes, these potatoes. This is how I do it. Yeah, when you have it rowed up like that, you can just rake down the top because this is the soil from the trenches and you just rake it across here and it kind of falls. And I'll have to go in and straighten it out a little bit, but for the most part. That works a whole lot easier. Yeah, that's a lot easier. And I'll just smooth it out. So you rake down the high part and it just falls right back down yeah. into the trench where we dug it out. All right, next stop, hay.
All right, so this bed is, is now covered with hay. And uh, Patty said I was laying it on too thick because we've only got so much available. And so, Patty, you were telling me this bed is not finished just yet. What happens now? Well, yeah, this our hay probably has grass seeds in it. So what we want to do is we want to come back and we want to cover it with leaves because that'll help make good soil for next year. Then we're going to put pine straw on top of that. And as the, you know, if, if you've ever heard of hay potatoes, you can actually plant potatoes in hay. And what we're doing, we have, the potatoes are going to grow at soil level, but as they grow up, they may actually make some at the hay level also and maybe at the leaf level. As long as we keep this bed good and covered, we'll be able to make more potatoes. Saw a bunch of critters in the soil. What kind of critters? Oh yeah, did we, see? Um, we actually saw a true night crawler. It was it was rather large when I pulled up a root. Uh, this was my okra box. No, no, but it was on this box I was working on where my peppers were. I actually, when I pulled one up, um, it had an earthworm wrapped around the roots. But anyway, this bed right here is what I'm working on right now. And we're gonna finish, this is the grass that was left. We've had the goats in here again, on purpose. On purpose this time. But we said we weren't gonna do that again, but we did. But uh, they've helped get rid of some of the grass. And so we're just hand pulling up this grass. It comes up really easy. This was peppers, jalapeno peppers right here. Um, this was some tomatoes. And um, so we're just pulling this out. Our goal every year is to, after the garden's finished, to cover it with leaves. We won't have to do this every year, but you know what? We never get around to it. So I told Tommy, <laughs> we got to do it this year. So it would be so nice to just come out here and plant. And But at least we're not having to till up rows because we're planting the potatoes in boxes. Um, in fact, if we had to do rows for potatoes, we wouldn't be able to plant potatoes today. We wouldn't be able to plant potatoes probably... Oh, for a few weeks if we didn't get rain because it has been so wet. So that's one thing I love about my square box gardening is that uh, you might not be able to plant the day it rains, but after you've had a day or two of no rain, you can come out and plant. Yeah, the, I've noticed that the, the soil is moist, but it's not yeah. mud. Yeah, the soil is really nice. Um, what's, what is today is Saturday, and we had rain a few days ago. And it's, it, it's, it's rather damp, but you it's know, not mud. but it's not mud. You know, so I can get out here. Oh, there's some kind of critter right there. That's I, a worm. No, that's not the kind we want, though, I don't oh. think. So I've been, I've been smushing those. But anyway, um, so, but this stuff comes up real easy. Of course, it's, oh, look, 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 there it is. That's another good advantage to the uh, raised bed gardening is you're not walking on it so that the, uh, the soil doesn't get super compacted. And uh, most of the time you can pull... Yeah, and the weeds just come right up. You just got to kind of shake off some of the dirt. And this soil over here is a little more moist than the other bed, but it's still not so moist that we can't plant. So, it comes up really easy. And so, um, you know, even if you don't have square boxes, even if you have just like a pot, you can do the same method in a pot. You know, you could just put maybe one tomato plant in a pot this size, or you could even have the little totes. You can do, people have done tote, potatoes and totes. We ought to do that with some of the potatoes I have left. We'll see, we'll do a video if we do. So we got all three boxes. Let me see if I can back up a little bit here without falling down. We got all three potato boxes done. Um, at least through the hay stage. And as we mentioned in a previous clip, the next stage is we'll, we'll put a layer of leaves on top of the hay. And then a final layer of pine needles on top of the leaves. So, these three will be potatoes. I really don't know what Patty's got planned for the rest of the boxes. You can see all of our all of our boxes. We've got lots of room to grow stuff in these small spaces. Relatively small spaces. We've got the keyhole boxes we built last year that just look gorgeous. Just really like them. Very functional. And then we've got these two boxes back here. Looks like we're growing goats in one of them. Nope, guess not. Beans had a good outing today. Uh, we really think she's just about gotten housebroken. She was asleep in a dog bed just a few minutes ago, and she got up and stretched, and I called her to the door and said, come on, let's go outside, Bean. She came outside, and as soon as her heat fit, uh, feet hit the ground, she stopped and tinkled. That's amazing. We really weren't planning on having a house goat, but now we're almost thinking about it just to see 
just out of curiosity if it can happen. <laughs> so, anywho, the taters are in. That's a bunch of potatoes. Hopefully we'll make a bunch.